Well, the reason why, why I decided to do this was uh, you and I had a trip in, I think it was 2010, to, uh, to Australia, where, where the conditions are pretty similar to ours as far as heat and stuff is concerned. And everyone said to us, you know, we're too hot, we can't plant uh, M9. And I saw some beautiful orchards in Australia, how they, conver they converted their whole industry from the vigorous stuff that we've been planting to the more dwarfing root stocks. I got on the phone straight away and in 2011 we planted this first hectare of, of M9 just to see whether we could mm. grow M9 in South Africa, you know, taking our conditions into consideration. Good. Because the precocity, the fruit quality, uh, early bearing, I mean, it, it all, it's all been proven mm. over the years. I think in, in 1962 they started commercial plantings of M9 in America. Mm -hmm. um, and here we are in 2011 thinking we pioneers planting our first uh, rootstock. Mm. This was a total team approach yeah. where we got a bunch of specialists together mm. to assist us with this M9. Because, because we've realized that you can't farm this like you farm your traditional orchards. So, so there was a whole relook at how we do it from, from irrigation to fertilizer, mm -hmm. to the way we tree train, the way we prune, the way we look at the orchard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, from the old vigorous, strong leader, dominant, all that sort of stuff, to, to a different look at the orchard. We broke even in this, this orchard in year four, we broke mm -hmm. even. So from now on it's profit. Whereas, right. whereas in our, in our uh, traditional planting, we haven't got to the cost of planting yet mm. in that orchard. So, so from a from a financial point of view, mm. I mean, this thing has way outperformed our traditional orchards. Mm. Traditionally, we were looking at year 11 to 17 as the peak mm. earning potential of our traditional orchards. Well, I'm telling you now, this thing this year, we should be producing 60 tons of good fruit off mm. this mm. off this um, um, orchard. I suppose, I suppose uh, Keith can maybe answer this better, but if you, if you don't fill the tree space mm -hmm. with this dwarfing rootstock, mm -hmm. it costs you, this orchard costs us about 35% more to plant, and that's because mm -hmm. of the density. Mm -hmm. We haven't gone for, for cloth, we haven't gone for that expensive stuff. Where we do spend more money is on the trellis and on the trees. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's a fact. Yeah. Um, but, but, you know, looking, looking at, at what we've done, Vian, yeah. uh, and, and I must say, we've paid a lot of attention to this orchard. Mm. So we haven't ranched this like we ranched the rest of our mm. business. And that we've got to be aware of. So mm. this takes mm. management input yeah. and making sure that you get it right. I think slightly, slightly closer density. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we learned here is that as you said, it was a new project. We left all the side branches. Ratios are very important, like any tree, to remove, remove strong ratios. Early bending, mm. so manipulation. The, the more high density you go, the more the timing of, of your inputs are, 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 are very, very critical. And that mm. there's no waiting when you've got labor available. And mm. for example, bending, bending shoots mm. is at a, at a certain length and it's got to be done when, it, when the shoot's at that length. Yeah. And I also think, Vian, what we've learned is that the, the rootstock sign combination mm -hmm. needs to be considered in the planting. No mixed orchards like this again. So it'll, it'll be gala with pollinators and, and, and Fuji with pollinators, but, but, but they just perform so differently that you can't plant it in a block. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we need to look at in our orchard of the future is our irrigation, mm -hmm. is our water. I mean, there is no doubt in our minds that, that efficiency and effectiveness of every cube of water that you apply is going to become paramount. Mm. So, so, so things like like net and water consumption has to become part of what we look at for the future. So, so not not net for vigor, sunburn protection, and all the things that we are looking at now. But mm. I, I, I can't see it not being water efficiency.